The truth is, I tell most people, if you're looking to start dropshipping in 2022 or beyond, don't do it. And the reason I tell this to people might surprise you, and that's what I'd like to share with you guys in this video. So, as a lot of you guys know, I've been dropshipping now for years. I started dropshipping on Amazon once I saw the bloodbath that started happening on Amazon last year in 2021. I decided I needed to find another platform because it was no longer sustainable or realistic to dropship on Amazon from retailers over a period of time and have a sustainable business. And I'm all about sustainability. I want to make easy money online. I don't want to have to deal with customers. I don't want to have to deal with clients. I don't want to have to sell anything. Nothing wrong with those things. I just kind of want to make easy money so I have more money and time to do the things that I want to do. And that's when I, uh, last year in 2021, started drop shipping on Facebook. And the truth is, is most people should not drop ship. And the reason is not that drop shipping doesn't work. Not that you can't start making money this year drop shipping on Facebook. It's that most people are not willing to do what it takes. So drop shipping, let me just kind of share with you guys how this happened. So when I started drop shipping on Amazon a few years ago, we started listing items in the store. And we started listing items. And after a few weeks, we started getting a couple sales every now and then. And I was a little discouraged because I'm like, we're listing items every week. We're, 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 we were finding items and listing items every day, but no money was coming in. And then I stayed with it over a period of months, and I actually had virtual assistants back then from the Amazon store. I generally like to start with virtual assistants just so the work is getting done, but I'm not actually doing the work, which frees up even more time, which is nice. So... Then a few months in, we were getting sales, but some months I'd make a few hundred dollars. The next month I'd lose a few hundred dollars because we have returns or we weren't making a lot of sales. I'm still paying these VAs. And it was a couple months in and I just like, I mean, I was like, is it even worth doing this? I was like, I'm not making any money. I see these other guys on Facebook talking about making money. Do I really want to continue? Well, I stuck with it. I stuck with it and around month seven, I found a better software to use. I found because I stayed with the business and I continued to work in the business and look at different things, I found ways to handle situations and to make the business better. And it was around month seven, I made like $4,500 in profit after all expenses. I was like, shit, this is not too bad. Next month I made like 5,000, then like 5,500. Then I think I made like 4,000 again. And then a few months later, made like $8,000 and I stayed with it. And it was about a year, it was over a year after I'd been consistently drop shipping for a year, had a $10,000 month. About a year and a half later, I had a $21,000 month. I was actually looking at my sales because I'm doing my taxes or getting my taxes ready. And um, uh, last year, it was uh, towards the end when I was drop shipping on Amazon, had one month I made over $21,000 in profit. That after I'd been doing this for about a year and a half consistently. Let's look at my Facebook store. I started listing items on Facebook. I was so nervous when I started on Facebook. I was afraid I was never going to get a sale. The first day I listed items, didn't make any money. The next day I listed items, didn't make any money. I'm getting discouraged, but I remembered the power of being consistent. And that all Rome was not built in a day. And that all successful businesses take a while. Would it be realistic for me to assume that if I'm not making money over the first few days, that the business model doesn't work? That'd be a pretty dumb thing for me to assume, right? So I had to just kind of remember, Aaron, just have faith, just keep listing items. And it was on day three or four, I got like one sale, which was very exciting for me. I'm like, shit, this works. Then a couple days later, I got another sale. Then I stayed with this business. And then I started getting a, a few sales a week. And then about a sale a day. And then after about six months, I actually ran into some issues drop shipping, where my sales started going down. Like on month five, six, seven, eight, my sales every month started to decline. Yet, we were consistently listing six times a week new items in my store. I'm nervous. I'm thinking about giving up. But I know that one of the biggest problems and one of the biggest reasons why pe 
why uh, people that are trying to make all money online fail is they jump around from business to business too quickly. Never giving the time and the attention, putting in the 10,000 hours, quote unquote, to master their field. So I said, you know what? Even though this is painful, even though I'm scared, what if I never am able to make money dropshipping anymore? I'm just going to stay with the process. We kept listing items and I kept trying out other things. I would test things to try to get the sales up. It wouldn't work. I would test out other things. I eventually found one thing. It was one actually very simple thing that I applied to my store. And once I applied that to my store, not only did my sales go back up, but they continue to go back up. And if you've seen some of my videos recently that you can find on my channel, I take you and I show you inside my Facebook store on my computer. You see my sales over the last few days. You've seen the money that Facebook has sent me. Um, I recently made a video on my channel where I showed how Facebook paid me $2,365.73 in one day for drop shipping on their website. That's what they paid me, rewarding me for drop shipping on their website in 2022. So drop shipping does work and you can make it work, but most people are not willing to be consistent and put in the time that is needed to allow the business model to compound and give it the time and the intention that it needs. To be successful dropshipping in 2022, you need to be consistently listing new items and you need to be doing that over a period of time. I have a client of mine. I used to take on a Facebook. If basically, if you wanted me to run your Facebook dropshipping business, you could pay me a bunch of money up front. I'd run your store for you. I don't offer that service anymore. This is not an indirect pitch. I will never offer that service again just because I... There's various reasons for it. But I was looking at one of my client stores a couple months ago. This guy made $2,000 in profit, drop shipping on Facebook after all expenses. And I have two full-time virtual assistants in a store. This is after paying both of them. This is after paying all software costs and everything. He made right around $2,000 in profit in one month, drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. He's been with me at that time for about nine months. For nine months straight, Six days a week, we would get 10 to 20 new items listed in the store. Six days a week, every single week without failure for nine fucking months straight. Things compound. I cannot tell you how many times in my store I would list an item and it wouldn't sell for the first week. It wouldn't sell for the next week. It wouldn't sell for four months. And then four and a half months in, I'd get two sales. And then... Every month, I would continue to get like zero to five sales a month from that item. And when you are consistently listing new items in your store and you have dozens and dozens and then hundreds of items that are selling a few times a month, that's where you can get to the point where you're getting five, 10, 15 sales a day in your store. But there needs to be time of listing those items and allowing the, the listings there's an additional power of just having the listing sit there that people are not willing to deal with. So to wrap up this video, does drop shipping in 2022 work? Yes, it does. Can you make money? Yes, you can. But if you're not willing to put in the work and really see this as a long-term play, this is something I'm going to commit to. I'm going to get items listed or you list the items yourself and then eventually you hire other people to list the items. It doesn't matter who's listing the items as long as the items are being listed. And I'm going to give it time. And if one or two months go by and I'm not making a gazillion dollars, I'm not going to freak out. That's fine. Now, can you make money before? Yes. I got a student that bought my uh, FB Marketplace dropshipping the, my program that I sell. And he messaged me after about a month and he talks about how he was getting one to three sales a day and he only had 50 items listed. Some people, that's how they are. Some people, their stores just take longer to get going and they need to just list more items and they just need to give it more time. But as long as you're willing to give it time, give this a good six months. If you're willing to commit to this for six months, Get items listed, not be discouraged, and say, okay, I'm probably going to get some sales over the time, and I might even make some money, but to really see some stuff start to compound, give it a good six months. And if you really want to be committed to this, give it a year. Give it a year. Give it a year. Stick with this for a period of time, and then watch what happens. So, my name is Aaron Goldstein. Hopefully, you got value from this video. See you on the next one.